With the potential of wildfires, earthquakes, and flooding on top of living in a pandemic, now more than ever, we all need to be prepared. News Channel 3's Caitlin Thrope shows us how to prepare for an unexpected disaster. Drop, cover, and hold on. Do you know what to do when an emergency disaster happens? We sit on top of the San Andreas fault line, and many people think that, um, oh, it's not going to happen. Well, how about Ridgecrest a year ago, 4th of July weekend? It happens. Nonprofit Coachella Valley Disaster Preparedness Network handed out about 500 Spanish and English packets to families in Cathedral City, helping educate them on personal preparedness. The first responders, as we know them, with 911, they're not going to be able to come to us. So you're going to need to rely on your neighbors, your family members, and yourself. Carla Sullivan Dilly tells us three ways to be prepared. Well, the first thing is have a plan. What will you do if a disaster happens while you're at work and your kids are at home? Play out different scenarios. And then in Coachella Valley, especially, make sure you've got water. Stock up on extra water and keep water in your car. And then always for nighttime issues, make sure you've got flashlights around. She also recommends putting together a disaster preparedness checklist based on your personal needs. We don't try to scare people. What we do is ask them to please take personal responsibility so that they can best care for the ones that they love and be successful in, in writing out whatever disaster comes their way. In Cathedral City, Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3.